Hello. Hello. Yes. I am trying to reach a Jones, please. My name is Attorney Gidry from the uh, Law Firm. Is she available? Yeah, this is she. How you doing, ma'am? I'm actually trying to get some business rectified. Um, dealing with your divorce that took place, I guess, over the last seven whole years. Am I correct? Correct. I got some file up with your paperwork here. Now, you guys had some property that you owned together, I believe, in Avondale. Am I correct? Correct. I'm looking at your paperwork here, Miss Jones. I'm still a Jones. Okay. I, now, we're getting down to the property, and that seems to be where the problem lies. This is in Avondale. You guys had some property, and you sold it as you both went and, and split your ways. Right. Um, Looking at the paperwork that I have here, it seems like, it was filled out incorrectly. I don't know how seven years has passed for this to come back and, and fall on my desk to be uh, to get rectified. But um, whatever the dividends were that you guys took and, and, and shared, that you're now looking as if you're owing Mr. Jones an additional $18,000. What is that? I, I, ma'am, I don't know. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I wanted to bring this information to you and see how we can get it rectified. Uh, I'm not looking for you to have that much money uh, available at uh, today, but I do know as a as an attorney for Mr. Jones, I must say that we're trying to get it taken care of as soon as possible. Oh, uh, wait a minute. How, wait, wait. Let's back this up. How do I owe him eighteen thousand? I'm, I'm, I'm. For what reason? Well, the paperwork here, ma'am, seems to be. Yeah, what the paperwork say? It wasn't supposed to be fifty percent, fifty percent between you, you all. It should have been seventy-five, twenty-five, and he being seventy-five percent of the property owed to him and twenty-five percent. Oh no, I don't know how. What? Uh, you know, Louisiana is a community property, and how could he get seventy-five percent and I get twenty-five? Uh, from my understanding, that he paid most of the bills when you guys were living together, and that don't have anything to do with that. No, he didn't pay most of the uh, bills. I worked and contributed too. Right, and I understand that. But my understand from what I have here on the paperwork, and and I understand that you had some contribution to it, but it just seems like you did not um contribute as much as he did. And yes, indeed, I never heard no like this. I do apologize, ma'am, but what I do need you to do is, is definitely not use that type of language while I'm on the phone, okay? Well, look, I don't really have to talk to you because I know I don't know. I don't owe no <laughs> Jones, no $18,000, and he didn't overpay me because it was community property. I had two children for him. I left with none. He had everything, and there's no way. I'm going to pay him no $18,000. Ma'am, I hate to get a little abrupt with you, but you are going to pay this $18,000. Now, that's going to happen. Now, if I, if I have to garnish your check and do it, then that's the way it will have to be done. But the money will be coming to Mr. Kirk Jones in the sum of $18,000. Call it back, Kat. Yeah. Look, don't you hang up on me again. Now, if I have to put a lien on your property or put a lien on your ass, which one do you want? Look, and you don't talk to me like that. I talk to you because any way I, I want to. you talked about because once I went to court, that all that was over with. You're going to pay $18,000. That's what you're going to do. Uh-huh. Now, I don't want to have to come to your house, ma'am, to pick up this money, but I will. I'm not working. I want to know how do I have to pay him 18000 See, you're not working. That's our problem from the start. That's why it wasn't 50-50. That's why it was 75-25, because you were not holding hey, up no, your... Baby. I work all through the year. I've stayed that man 26 years, and I worked. Well, what is your butt doing now? Nothing. Well, there we go. That seems to be the root of our problem, isn't it? No, it ain't the root of no problem, because I want to know how did Kirk could get a 18%. And Louisiana is a community property. He had his lawyer and I had my lawyer. He agreed to it, and that was that. So I don't know how I owe him 18000 Ma'am, that's the way the problem was. Evidently, you didn't read the paperwork that you signed when you and Kurt separated seven years ago. Now, if you didn't read your paperwork correctly, this is why it comes back to bite you in your butt. Oh, no, it's not, because I had a lawyer. And, and he had his lawyer. We agree with everything was back and forward and we agree with everything he signed the paper and that was that well maybe you didn't have a lawyer that was worth a damn who didn't read the bottom of the paperwork himself and i had a lawyer and thought i had a good lawyer that that and i understand that man when that happens a lot of a lot of time i can't believe that and i and i had two children struggle with him and we got what we got by both of us work and this song he gonna come back and tell and oh no i'm gonna fight this when can we expect a payment starting to work on this 18000 I don't know.
Well, I'm, I'm going to have to get a date or something where I can start getting $500 from you per month or something like that. Yes, Cindy, 500 a month. I haven't worked since uh, the hurricane. I was working up until the hurricane. When you want to sit, I, I don't think I should have to tell tell you all this because I need to get talk to me a lawyer because I'm not agreeing to anything because I don't think that no, it's not fair. I tell you, give me a deadline because I'm going to have to get me a lawyer. As an attorney, I'm trying to keep my composure. As an attorney, ma'am. How do you have the right? And I, I don't have no say so over this. Are you, are you, have you remarried? No, I haven't. Okay. You, you realize if I don't get the money, uh-huh. then I don't get paid. Right. Listen, I'm going to be down in your area uh, probably on Wednesday. Do you think you and I can get together and probably talk about this? Because I want to help you as much as I can. Yeah, because I don't think it's fair to me. Wednesday, where? I'm not, I could be there. Well, you think that maybe uh, you and I can get together maybe and work something out? Yeah, because I know I'm not, I mean, I cannot afford to pay Jones no $1,800. He took the house from me for little or nothing. And i tell you what. I tell you what, I'll do this. I won't I won't tell Mystic Jones anything. But only on one condition. That's me and you being able to work this thing out behind closed doors. What you mean work it out? I mean work it out. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? I don't know. Tell me. Well maybe you know, like I'm a, dumb. Some relations or something. Really? Why would you want a relationship with me? Not relationship. You don't even know me. Not relationship, but just, you know, maybe kinda kick it. Take care of you what way. I'm dumb. I don't know. I don't know nothing about life. I think you know a whole lot about life. No, I don't. But why is you messing with me? I just want to see if we can maybe get together. I'll throw all this paperwork out and I'll let you know it's not possible. But, I, but I'm if you not meet Mr. Me, you meet me Wednesday, I'll make this thing go away. I don't believe this. i tell you what else you ain't going to believe. What? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your sister Janice. <laughs> you no good. <laughs> on the air, huh? I got Janice on the phone. I got her, I got her grandbaby on the phone. You just got <laughs> by the whole family. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna kick you.